decided to do something, actually, I decided to do something on the fly. As I was running out the door to go visit my friend for coffee, as I sometimes do during the work week, after she drops her kids off at school and my kids have gotten on the bus to go to school, she'll occasionally take some pictures for me for my blog. So this morning I was running extremely late, had to throw on a baseball cap, literally because I had no time to do my hair. I wear baseball hats when my hair looks like this ouch, which is scary, and slapped on an outfit and ran out of the door to meet her just so I would be on time. So as I was in the car, I was thinking, oh my gosh, that would be a great video topic, is how to make a baseball cap look chic. It's pretty easy. Just add a couple things. Just zhuzh it up a little bit, and it can look pretty cute. Because, let's be real, I'm a mom, and there are some times that I just literally don't have time to really take 30 minutes to get ready. And so a baseball cap is a must. I mean, I literally don't think I've washed my hair in probably four days. And I mean, that's good for your hair. A lot of beauty and hair gurus know that you really shouldn't wash your hair every day. It'll keep it more healthy. But anyway, mine's gone a little bit too long. So I had to throw in a baseball cap just so I wouldn't scare my friend or the people around me at the coffee shop. That gives me an idea. Let me go get some of my favorites and I'll be right back. Legos. So anyway, back to the subject at hand, baseball chic, so easy to do, so easy to look put together and not like you're just going to the gym. Like I said, I went this morning for coffee with my girlfriend and all I needed to do was I just layered some basics, a black shirt, a white pair of jeans, and a pair of black boots. That was my base for my outfit. Then I added this homemade vest, which I just literally cut the sleeves off of, washed a few times, kind of roughed it up with a razor so that it had some fraying on it, which I don't know if you can see that. And voila, made my own little denim vest. So added a denim vest, added one of my favorite hats. I do love a mesh hat. Then take a cute print scarf and a leopard print hello goes with everything in my opinion. It's almost like a neutral. Throw that around your neck. Make sure it's not wrapped ill-fittingly, obviously. Add some sunglasses and you are good to go. And of course, when it comes to the makeup part, okay, I'm really hot, so I have to take this off. This worked when I was downtown outside because it was rather breezy. So what I do for makeup when I'm in this big of a hurry, and I have already discussed a 10 minute makeup in the car, which was my latest video, but I'm gonna show you how I would do my makeup in the car because sometimes as a mom, that has to be done and it has to be done quickly. So I've already kind of discussed how to do your makeup in 10 minutes or less, but this right here was even less than that because I literally was running out of the door. And when your hair looks this bad, it's not like you really have time to do makeup either. Either If I didn't have time to do my hair, I didn't really have time to do my makeup. So I put on a BB cream, some mascara, and then I put on two new products that I actually just received from Juice Beauty. So thank you, Juice Beauty. Um, this is one of my first organic lines of makeup that I have ever received. And so I was really excited to try this. And they sent me this really beautiful cream blush and it's called Seashell. I don't know if you can see that really well right now. I filmed this morning. It might have already gone away. Let's add a little more, why not? So you can see the actual color. Just dip your little finger in there. And y'all know if you've been following me for a while, I'm a huge cream blush fan. A nice realistic blushed look thanks to cream blush because it just sinks in really nicely and just gives a realistic blush without being chalky like a powder blush. And the reason I'm a huge cream blush fan is because it looks a lot more natural than a powder that just sits on top of your skin. And so especially when you have very little face makeup on, you want a blush that's gonna kind of blend into your skin and just look really, really natural. Cause I mean, who wears like a full face of makeup and a baseball hat? Not me. So that's my Juice Beauty. Um, so that's my Juice Beauty. I can't remember the name of it. So that's my Juice Beauty cream blush. And then they also sent me this lipstick, which is their satin lip cream. And this color is called Sonoma. Again, kind of just a rosy, very natural look. And I love this stuff because it is super hydrating and it does not dry my lips out. And it just gives my lips it's almost like a better color of my natural lips, so it's not really overdone, but it doesn't look like it just have on chapstick. Sorry, I'm looking at a mirror over there. All these mirrors, all these cameras. There's the Juice Beauty Satin Lip Cream. You see it up close? It's a good, good color, right? Very natural. So really, 
That's about all you have to do to make a baseball hat look chic. Get a basic outfit, whatever, jeans, solid colored top, add some denim, add a denim vest, add a denim jacket, add a printed scarf, your favorite hat, and then just do a little bit of minimal makeup and you are good to go. Oh, and let me show you my other favorite hats while we're at it, just, just for fun. Ooh, scary. And when I do put on a hat, because I do have so much hair, I put a little bit of, of it up in a little bitty tiny ponytail, like a little half ponytail. It just helps to kind of keep the hat flatter that I have half of it up before I actually put the hat on. I mean, you could wear it backwards. I might be a little too old to wear a backwards hat. I don't know. But my eight-year-old son sure does look cute with his hat backwards. So here's my favorite hat. Okay, so that is it for today's vlog, I guess you could call it. Is this a vlog? Baseball cap chic mom style. Thanks so much for watching and I hope that you enjoyed this video and that you came away with a few tips on how to wear a baseball hat and feel a little bit chicer while wearing one. And if you like this video a lot, please give it a thumbs up. It actually really means a lot and it's an easy thing to do. And if you haven't already subscribed to my YouTube channel, please do so. I would be so, so thankful. And go follow me on Instagram because I love Instagram at Jenny Sue Makeup. And I will see you here on YouTube next time. Bye y'all.